Hello there and welcome to the Natalie and Dennis show podcast. We have so, so much to talk about today. Tell us. Well, our main topic for today is actually facial fillers. Oh my. How long do they last on your face? We are also talking about Netflix raising prices, talking about going to work in a blizzard. And right after that, how would you feel, Natalie, if someone screamed profanity at your child at a football game or a basketball game? Oh, hell no. Happy Friday, everyone. First Happy of all. Happy Friday. Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. Moving right into the facial filler, huh? Mm-hmm. It's a big topic recently. Why is that? Well, I don't know. It's been so popular for the past couple of years. I feel like everyone just gets facial filler like right off the bat. It's like the first kind of like facial change that they do, aesthetic change that someone does. It seems, seems so easy. Well, I feel like the lip filler thing was more popular, especially around like the Kylie Jenner mm. you know, era with her lipsticks. That became really popular to the point where every girl, most girls that I know uh, have lip fillers, which is pretty wild to me. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm actually curious because we're about to talk, you know, pretty deep into it. How many of our audience has... Yeah, that'd be interesting to know. You know, facial filler, lip filler. What do you consider consider lip filler, facial filler? No, I think that's different, but I'm not really sure. All I know is that that video of Kylie Jenner surfaced where she was like on the red carpet and she looked very human. Mm. I actually, when I first saw that video, I was like, wow, she looks like she's aging beautifully. Like I saw her and I was like, for the first time, she doesn't look all like tight or, you know, just character like uncomfortable, not uncomfortable. (laughs) I think that she always looks very like snatched. But in that video, she looked like an older woman, but not in a bad way. Mm. Right. But a lot of the comments are actually saying the opposite. And they're stating that this is what facial filler does it eventually falls down and even doctors are coming to the forefront and they're like we don't really know what this does to your face like a few years down the line you guys are guinea pigs to all of this yeah there was a video that went viral on youtube uh it was a plastic surgeon uh, dr gavin chan so he came out saying that you know four to five years after injecting someone with facial filler they would sometimes go to his office and they would still have that filler that they had implanted into their face from way back well you know you have to dissolve filler yeah to get it removed that's uh i've seen a few girls actually post on youtube about that it's quite painful yeah i saw here it's called i have it written down anyways we saw a show called botched on netflix which is really intense it's about people being addicted to plastic surgery i would say that just because someone does filler on their face doesn't necessarily mean that they're addicted i feel like it's a such a popular cultural thing at this point. Mm -hmm. It almost seems like something normal for people to do, but at the same time, is it normal for someone to go through a procedure like that? Well, okay. As somebody who has had plastic surgery, um, I'll give a little backstory. I used to have breast implants and I got them done when I was 19 years old. Mm. The specific implant that I got done, I couldn't do here in the States, in the US. And why was that? Why was it? Yeah. Because uh, there's, I guess, bigger regulations for that type of stuff. I wanted to get silicone breast implants. So I actually flew out to Columbia at 19 years old. I put on implants and very surely after I started getting really sick, I went through this whole um, thyroid issues. I mean, I have a whole video and YouTube channel kind of explaining that, but I recognized that after I did all of that, I'm Mm -hmm. curious if I would have been the kind of person to go into plastic surgery a little bit more if I hadn't seen the downside of it. Does that make sense? Like continued with it? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Because the experience would have been positive or whatever. Not that mine was not positive. I actually got the result that I wanted, but Mm -hmm. the repercussions of those implants, matter of fact, they actually ended up being recalled in the US. Sorry, not in the US, in Europe. Mm. So I had to then go and get them removed by a microsurgeon, the whole thing. So going back to the whole filler thing, right? Yeah, you're right. It's become such a part of society. And um, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to ask the audience. I've heard a lot of women get Botox for grinding their teeth. Wow. Yeah, for teeth grinding. Yeah. And so uh, I don't know if that's just like, does that actually work? Or are people just saying 
they're getting Botox for their teeth grinding just to get Botox. Does well, that make sense? Because no. I had never really heard like about that being a thing. I, I seen, I've seen some pictures and videos of people getting fillered because apparently their jaws are too squared out and it helps straighten. But I don't know if it's like, uh, it actually solves issues. Wait, that's so interesting. So you showed me that one video of the girl yes. who, to be quite honest, she looked very natural. I was oh, yeah. shocked. A lot of the comments said that. I was shocked. And I think some of the comments were like, dang, like whoever did your your face Surgery. did a really great job. She looked very natural mm -hmm. and she just appeared like she had nothing. So that was kind of like interesting. So she kind of came on and she's like, hey, girl, like you think I have nothing? Actually, no, I have a bunch of filler on my face. So the dissolver is apparently oh. called hyaluronidase and it's needed in order to remove certain fillers in certain parts of the face that don't disappear. Uh, the video that we were talking about that got really popular, uh, that doctor specifically doesn't do tear through filler anymore, which is things around the eye, because that's the type of filler that doesn't dissolve properly and migrates around your face. And well, so here's a hot take. He, he teamed up with a radiologist right before we jump into the hot take <laughs> to do MRIs on people's faces and to see the way that the filler kind of moves through. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Yeah. Well, I have an aunt who did Botox back in, this was 20 years ago. Yeah. She was like the only aunt. The only aunt that did Botox. Yeah, I wonder if you're thinking who it is now. Anyways, no. so she always says that she feels like she has balls on her face yeah. and it's from the filler. They need to dissolve it. Well, yeah, but she's she stopped doing filler, you know, but the point is she's, she ended up saying a few years into it, she's like, oh my God, I feel like I have like balls on my face and it's just a very odd feeling, lumps. right? Lumps, exactly. And I, I mean, of course, with breast implants, you you feel like you have lumps, but I used to sleep so uncomfortably with my breasts. I couldn't sleep down. Mm. Yeah, it was that uncomfortable. But the hot take that I wanted to talk about is, okay, it's a little controversial, Ooh. but no, it's not like, ooh. Listen. So, listen, some people um, think it's really great when an influencer says what they have gotten done, right? Because then other people are like, thank you. Like now I don't have to imagine that you just like are magically like this. But then other people are like, you are promoting this. Mm. So my hot take on this is it's up to you, first of all. But I do think that if you are the influencer who is promoting this type of stuff, I, it really kind of angers me when they promote the doctor mm. and I'll explain why in Korea, there was this doctor who started doing a bunch of really popular Korean influencers, surgeries, faces, face right? Stuff, yeah. Like eyelids. And I mean, these people would transform into, you can't, you, you can't even recognize them, but they look good. I mean, that's biased. It's mm -hmm. up to like, you know? Okay. And so, um, basically the doctor ended up getting a very high demand of clients mm -hmm. interested in his work. And they find out that this guy was no longer doing the surgeries. All of these girls were getting botched by some other person. Wow. So they're using the influencers to say, hey, we do this. Come on over to our clinic. The facility. Yeah. Yes. You're going to get the doctor to do this. But imagine you get an overwhelming amount of people. One doctor cannot do all of that. So he'll get his assistants or his, like what you said with your mom. Oh yeah. So my mom got, um, laser eye surgery in Columbia. Uh, she got LASIK, went to the doctor. They had uh, lined up her surgery, um, for like, I think a couple days after. And then it turns out that his daughter was the one that did the surgery and it wasn't my mom. He was present, but he wasn't the one that actually did like the laser cutting or any of that. Girl, hell no. <laughs> See, that's yeah. my problem. Like how, how scary is that? And the thing is they switch it on you last minute or they don't tell you. So a lot of these people who got botched in Korea yeah. were like, I don't get it. This was her result. Why are mine like this? Well, guess what? It wasn't the real, it wasn't the doctor that did this to you. Yeah. It tends to be super last minute. They'll be like, Oh, change of plans. It's not going to be the doctor anymore. It's going to be someone else. You know, that kind of happens with pregnancies too. Like for a lot of people, yeah, that like it's sucks. not the doctor that you've seen so often that delivers the baby, but it that's, ends up being someone else. But that's different. They'll tell you, but they never told these girls. No, totally. I'm just so, kind of connecting things. I don't know. Like to me, it feels really ugly to promote that type of stuff online. Agreed. 
I feel, I feel bad saying it though. Cause I know that other women, for example, okay. I, I follow this influencer and she's a mom. She's had a few babies and, uh, she posted about the work she got done. She got a mommy makeover. She got a BBL and like all this stuff. And everybody in the comments was quite negative actually. Really? Yes. They were very upset and very slim of the comments, like very little were like, thank you for being so honest, you know, or some people were like, you guys forget she's had three kids. Right. Yeah. So I don't know, like, it, it's also like, would you want somebody to lie about it or would you want them to be open like that? It's just, I don't know. Let's ask our balance. audience. We can ask the audience. Yeah. What do you guys know. think? Is it best if someone actually is upfront about what surgeries that they have? Should they an influencer specifically influencer, an influencer yeah. because especially if they're promoting yeah like i i that kind of know. stuff yeah. yeah uh some comments that were left in these videos were for example i'm so glad i'm too broke to get filler uh my anatomy teacher <laughs> told me never to get a procedure that hasn't been out on the market for le- more than 10 years so anything uh, less than 10 years don't do can it can i just say more than 20 because implants have been around for quite some time now and even then during the time when they started getting recalled, people didn't know the repercussions down the line. Supposedly implants were supposed to be lifetime products. Yeah. That quickly changed. There are ladies well. that have implants 20, 30 plus years, yeah, same ones. That's true. Some are still intact and then some have actually kind of rotted. Oof. Yeah. Anyways, uh, moving into the next topic, but before that, I did want to, um, you know, say thank you to that surgeon that made that video being very frank about, you know, health conditions, health concerns. And I think it's very nice when doctors have their patients first in mind, like their health. Uh, and a lot of these doctors are also stopping procedures and so, move, and going on to either remove or to like, you know, get out of the field. So that was pretty crazy because the surgeon that removed my breast implants, he used to be a plastic surgeon yeah. and he completely went in for just specializing in removal of breasts. That's how many clients he had. I was on a one year wait list. One year. One year. Isn't that's that- bad. If you're feeling bad in four months, what are you going to do? Yeah. That's the scary thing yeah. too. And actually the prices started increasing. So I don't remember. For removal. For removal. It yeah. got more expensive than putting your implants in. So people got yeah. stuck with implants inside and couldn't remove it. It was really <laughs> sad. No, it was. That's a, it's actually. Kind of it, 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 no, it was so sad seeing like all the comments of girls being like, wait, this is out there. Oh my God. These are the implants I have. I need to get them removed. And now you're on a two year wait list. And it's like a lot of money, like 20 grand. Damn, I'm going to be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, switching over to the next topic. Do you have a subscription service to a streaming company? Davi, do you have Netflix? Do you have Hulu? Natalie, <laughs> do you have Netflix or Hulu? Do we have any no, of these streaming services? I don't have a, a, a lot. No, a I lot don't have any. I don't have any. No tiene ninguno. No, any, any, any. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, Netflix has been raising prices for quite a while now. And I feel like I get an email every two or three months that, you know, we're going up a dollar. Oh, if you have our 4K plan, you're going up a dollar. That's really frustrating. It's I have to say. Very annoying. But for them, it's been actually very beneficial because they recently announced that they added 13 million subscribers oh, wow. to Netflix and that their platform is switching over mainly to ad supported tiers which are actually cheaper for people. It's going to be six ninety nine, but you're going to see Ooh. ads on Netflix. So would you mind though seeing ads? Yes. I do. If I pay cheap, I'm, I don't, you don't mind. Yeah. 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 What about you? You know, poor people. <laughs> <laughs> you have the whole family on the plan. Honestly. Uh, yeah, no, I care. Uh, on We have Hulu, right? Yeah. We watch the bear. We got Hulu, Disney, Netflix. I mean, I don't know. You know what? Maybe Damn. it's not too bad. Yeah, we have too much. That's he, good. That's n- fire. No, it's unnecessary. We had Crunchyroll at some point. I still have Crunchyroll. We, I watch anime all the time. I want to have Crunchyroll. It's you know? the best one, probably. When do you watch it? Crunch an- anime all the time. No, but like really, when like let's go through the day or the week. When in the you don't. Uh, I watched like two seasons of like Jujutsu Kaisen and then I watched all. You know what? No, no, no. I can't, I I can't complain because (laughs) if I'm honest, my guilty like subscription service is gyms. Yes. It's really bad. There was a point where I was subscribed to four gyms. 
four gyms at the who same the hell time. has time for that girlfriend but can i just say women classes have gotten so expensive tell me why a pilates class is 40 dollars so each. expensive Dang. yeah each class e. pilates princess my ass it's like some rich girl <laughs> like i'm like what <sighs> is this it's too much money girl like i just want to go work out a little bit look cute and you know you know not I, be so harsh you know on my joints I, I can't comprehend usually gyms are at a negative profit or aren't making a lot of money even though technically it's just like a space that they're renting I don't really know if that's true. Whatever. Back to streaming services. Netflix is moving into what's kind of sort of like a live TV thing where they're going to have ads. They're actually teaming up with the WWE, which is like a wrestling uh, corporation or whatever. (coughs) And they're going to have exclusive access to stream them after Mm, 2025. Okay, okay, okay. And so everybody's fighting to grab things. I will say Netflix has upped it up with like the girly movies. Like there's so many movies in there now that I'm like, yes. I like that. I will watch that. It was starting to feel a little bit like bland for me. At the end of the day, though, is it worth having so many streaming services? And if which I mean, which ones do we have? Which do you recommend? Which ones do you not recommend? What do you guys think? Which streaming services do you guys have? Can I just put you on spot? Go ahead. I feel like you a phony because you have so many subscription services. So you tell me why that's. Well, the thing is. We have them just in case something good comes out. And so we're watching The Bear on Hulu. We had right? Disney Plus. You're watching Wait, this pause. Brazilian show pause, on Netflix. Pause, pause, pause. We had this, we had Disney Plus for like over the a year. The Mandalorian. Just to watch The Mandalorian. They hadn't come up with a new episode in like a year. I've been watching a lot of Star Wars on there every time Star Wars comes out no. on Disney Plus. And tell me why this man also thinks it's good to have Uber Eats Plus when we were like, we're not going to eat it's out. Uber we're going to be one. healthy. Get it straight. Whatever. Like, for what reason? Okay. If you order enough Uber, having Uber One is actually financially savvy. But that savvy. wasn't our goal. We said we don't want to eat our, out. Yeah, but we regardless, were big. we would fall into the trap of ordering, and it just makes more sense for us to have it. We're saving more money having Uber One. So then tell me, isn't that counterproductive, guys? Like, you have the app. You don't want to eat out. It's going to tempt you. Yeah, but you are you have the service. You need to use it in order to save the money. So I don't know. Whatever. Uber One has... I've actually enjoyed it. You don't like it. All these, I mean, I like getting my food, all these bills but, at the end of the month is so hard to keep track of how much money is being ripped away from your bank account. You got to keep up with all these things. <coughs> and then like some apps that are for finances, like mint and all this stuff, like they're asking for way too much information. <laughs> You're getting all your shit stolen and stolen to like other countries. You don't even know what's going on with your info. Bad. We're, we're down so bad. So then, okay. One of the suggestions was, okay, you want to know how to actually figure out which subscription to keep yeah is delete them all yes and then see what you miss yeah whatever you miss is the ones that you should have yes if you don't even know that you like canceled it right and you don't get it back now you really don't have any subscriptions no i always ask like oh can you share me your (laughs) oh you're one of those okay hey that that is that is monthly bill water electricity What else? Uh, my car, my insurance, my rent. Yeah. Uh, that's it. What else? Your what? My rent. Oh, your rent. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now you can I say something funny? Yeah, you can tell me. <laughs> I was I was reading some old comments on the podcast, yes. right? And so where is it? Oh my god, it's it's uh, to me it was funny. We'll see, we'll see. What is it? Well, first of all, people really miss the Sabina. They miss her. We miss her, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, okay. This is the one. Okay. So somebody, uh, our lease, Sylvia Morales, she actually started watching us on Spotify with, or she started listening to us on Spotify without oh, wow. watching here. So she said, I started watching your sp- uh, podcast on Spotify and uh, I absolutely did think that we was from a small, maybe poor pueblito. <laughs> Cause we always joke around, how yeah, that we is. but no, don't worry guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it's it was silly. <laughs> well, anyways, I would love to lo- uh, know what the audience currently has in terms of this, but well, what do you find valuable? That's the real question. Like if you had to delete everything, what would you actually keep? You know, <laughs> I would keep Netflix and Crunchyroll. Those are the only ones I would keep. So why don't we do that? Just to see, I would get rid of Hulu after we finish the bear and that's it. Facts. And then delete Disney plus, you know, Disney plus is not worth Disney it right plus now. is only good if you're a parent and you have to keep kids entertained and you give them old movies and, and, and just i watch think that. disney plus has that like 17.99 they're all so expensive and it that's just keeps so crawling all the that's way up so much 
Anyways, we're moving into the next topic. What are you currently addicted to? Natalie and I have had the same sandwich for lunch for the past two months. It's so good. We're addicted to sandwiches. Okay. Are you addicted to anything? No, that's not my answer. (laughs) Davi, ¿usted adicto a algo? I am the, uh, PG, PG, no negativo. Ninguna droga no me venga con ninguna No, no. Oh, es como. Something. I addict to the gym. Oh. To the gym? Oh, you have a good addiction. Yeah. But even that could be a bad one. Yes, yeah, that's right? true. That could be a bad one. That could be a bad addiction. Yeah. Be, yeah. yeah. I go to the gym every day. Spend two hours there. Yeah, I think you might be a little slightly addicted. Yeah, Dennis is right. Addicted. Can I tell you something? That wait, no, 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 no. Can I tell you something? You do have the gains, but can I tell you something that that's a little bit too much? He will go from a how how long are you at the gym? Like an hour and a half? Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe so two. Okay, yeah. then he will go out for a run. Yeah, a thirty minute run. <laughs> People. And then um, yeah. wait, and then he'll go to our gym and he'll cycle. Yes, Peloton. Damn, bro. And then and then he's in bed with like the the pressure things, and he's like, my knee. Okay, first and, of all, mm-hmm. I have the right to be able to do anything after work you do, that honey, I want to do. But it's right? a little excessive. It so, makes me wonder: Are you okay? So I go to the gym and I do <laughs> an hour and a half to two hours of gym. Right, it's strict strictly weightlifting. Then I'll do my 30 minutes of cardio or less, right? Everybody says 30 minutes of cardio is a way to like not gain weight or whatever. And then that's it. And then like anything that's recovery after is just on me. I do my, my Norma tech airbags or whatever. What are you currently addicted to? You pointed it at me. What are you addicted to? <laughs> well, first, can you guys comment below? What are you, what are your thoughts on that? Three, three workouts in a day. That's worse than 75 hard for 75 hard. You're supposed to do two a day. And one of those is a light activity, like a walk. A lot of people run in the morning and then they do weightlifting. In the so evening. what are you doing? 70, like you're doing something. I'm doing a hundred hard. That's 100 hard. That's the one I'm doing. No, no, no. Okay. Something that I'm addicted to is embarrassing. Okay. Do I not get a sound? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I started noticing I was definitely addicted to my phone once I went to the bathroom. <laughs> no, no, no. Tell me why. Okay, seriously. It's horrible. I know. Seriously. I think I'm too. Every, think I, about let it. Let me tell you. Every time I walk by the bathroom, Natalie's like. <laughs> 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 Con ese mismo eco. <laughs> yeah, with that same one. Well. I just, I don't remember the last time I didn't take my phone to the bathroom. Like, why can't I have a little peace and quiet? Okay. Isn't that weird? Before, and I'm literally addicted. Before phones, it was shampoo bottles. Shampoo it, bottles? It was newspapers. Literally. No, I get I it. I personally have to read on the toilet. I need to keep myself entertained. No. If I don't have Bro, my phone. Bro, you know what I'm if doing? If I don't get my phone, Tell I'm going to grab the shampoo and I'm going to read the ingredients and I'm going to find out everything about the. Bro, I start, like, everything. Co- I, I start counting ¿Cuántas baldosas hay en el baño? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. The I know. I know no, 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 no. Can I just say something? You're definitely addicted once you are walking down the stairs with your phone. This man. I mean. This man right here. I have my phone and I'm watching it or whatever. I'm listening to something down the stairs because I know the moment I get downstairs, you're going to tell me to get off the phone. But that's so dangerous. Yeah, so and you're not even if watching I stay the upstairs stairs. and I finish watching what I'm watching, you're like, why are you coming downstairs? So I have to watch as I go downstairs and go down slow so that I have time to watch what I'm watching. <laughs> I just have to guy say math. that's guy math right there. That's not a thing, honey. It's, it's male math. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, so we said that I'm addicted to the gym. That what are you addicted to? What did you say? You said oh, you said the gym too. Yes. No, but seriously, I think I'm addicted to sleep. Oh, oh really? Sleeping. Wait. Sometimes you have to look at that. Sometimes that's a sign of depression. Oh. Wait, you're addicted, I feel sad. you're addicted to sleeping. Well, tell me about your sleep. Maybe it's not as weird as you think. So when are you, how many hours a day are you sleeping? Or like, what does it look like? Are you taking naps? No, that's the thing. I When I play like video games, I'm not like me. I take, I just, me acuesto muy tarde y me uh, levanto con mucho cansancio. <laughs> Entonces por eso es como todo el día con sueño. Oh, I get yeah, it. I yes. To, I would love it if I could see your face that way. Yeah, you, you have me here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I tell that <clears throat> I tell Dennis this as well. Um the video game things gotta Whatever. go. Whatever. Um we would love to Wait, know. pause. Back <laughs> to me. No, back to no, me. No, no, no. We would love 
We would love to know what our audience is addicted to, but before that, no, no, we're no, going to no. actually go into comments and see what others are addicted to. Guys, 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 uh, guys I wouldn't guys. say wait, I'm wait, addicted, wait, 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 but wait, I've had wait, a wait, hot... Wait, pause. Bob, Bob, just for a second. <laughs> yes, I, sorry. I saw this TikTok. I saw this TikTok of the girl, right? She's in bed with her significant other, and she's scrolling on her phone, and he's reading. And she's like, when I remember I have a, a man, when have I seen you pick up a book? betrayed <laughs> <laughs> i'm I not think, gonna read i'm not the type to read i know you're not but i think we need to switch some little habits around because staying up playing with your boys for four hours every night is not good enough some of the comments were about sorry. the addiction uh chapstick listen don't come for me because you're not his wife because i know <laughs> uh, it's a lifelong addiction caffeine sleeping sleeping nicotine caffeine mentally unstable uh, some other person said alcohol, which is honestly really bad. But yeah, wait, we'd wait, love wait, to wait, hear wait, wait, wait. your addiction. Why does it say and mentally unstable woman? Men, someone's addicted to mentally unstable women. That's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah. That's very interesting. So, okay. Anyway. Chapstick is a real one. I've seen those people who yeah. their lips are real chapped and well, they just keep going and going yeah. and going. There's a conspiracy. What's that, up with that? There's a conspiracy yeah. that chapstick causes dry <laughs> lips. It really isn't moisturizing. It really is. It really isn't. It makes it worse. Honestly, Vaseline is the best option for Vaseline dry lips. Vaseline for everything. Vaseline. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. Clorox. Just, or, or Clorox. <laughs> just rub your <laughs> face. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's a trending TikTok going around. Have you guys ever been called into work on a blizzard or really, really bad weather? Well, that happened to this one woman. A viral TikTok showed her falling through uh, this big black patch of ice and just basically sliding all the way to her car. It was really sad. It was hilarious. She was having a really bad time. Oh, my but, God. Imagine. But anyways, that would be, were you ever called in to work during a snowstorm in Rhode Island? No. I, oh, because I don't have car. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Ah! Tell okay, 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 guys. I'm here. I'm here. So I don't have a car in Rhode Island, so I have to walk to my to my work. Uh-huh. And it was January, so many rain, so many snow. January? See. Si. Yeah. So bro, I literally finished my I finished my work at 2 12 a.m. So I have to walk late. Mm -hmm. Bro, oh, literally wow, it's scary. Around, a fucking storm. I don't know. It's a, a storm? Yes, like pero mucho viento, mucho. No, no nie, pero mucho viento. Y yo estaba caminando, bro, and, and it's like so scared but like literally i start running hard like somebody is trying to kill me oh wow yeah, that weird. is pretty traumatizing i remember when i was in rhode island i had to go to high school i had to walk there uh my house is too close to the high school so i didn't get a bus that's the worst because honestly yes. it's never that close and it was constantly <laughs> snowing every single day and it was the walk and it was by the time i got to school i was soaked like my shorts, my not shorts, pants. Oh, actually, wait. I would wear shorts sometimes to school. Actually, I was a weirdo. You didn't Anyways. have a friend that could take you? No, no. I mean, high school, not no, a lot of people drive. Not. not a lot of people drive. What I'm about north your for some reason. Uh, it was too close <laughs> and it's dangerous to take the car. The really? best option is honestly to walk. Okay. Walking is the best option yeah. in the snow. It just is. <clears throat> uh, but, anyways, the, video, the viral video was a person going to work. Uh, you know, okay. it's kind of mean as a boss to call people into work during dangerous conditions. Well, duh. What are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a question about it. <laughs> like, I think that, you know, like, especially during COVID, like a lot of people were like, um, this I'm is crazy. Going. I'm not going. And like the whole remote work stuff. But um, you can't call off work every when, time there's a, th there's a snowstorm or a thunderstorm. Like, what do you do? You have to go. It kind of sucks. That doesn't make sense, though. Yeah. No, that actually doesn't make sense. The I think as the boss, like the leader or whoever's in charge, kind of lets everybody know about the conditions. Sometimes it is like that. But uh, you also have like stuff you have to get no, done. No, I get it. But also remote work, like... I don't know. <clears throat> Companies are really picky nowadays about remote work. And they That's don't think true. that people are like actually working. I mean... Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about something. I had a remote working assistant at some time. Yeah. She was fabulous. Amazing. <clears throat> Until she wasn't. 
<laughs> until <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> until she wasn't tell me why i'd be like on slack and i'd be like hey girl like we need to get this going and every possible excuse to not talk to me i was like hey i need like i was starting to get suspicious but i always told her i said as long as you get your work done baba sometimes it's too much <laughs> i'm sorry as long as you get your work done, I'm cool. Like you could be at the beach and this and that. But I really started to think about that. The point being is the days that she was starting to kind of not talk to me, she yeah. was looking for another job. Oh, oh. And that. And how my, you catch her? How did I catch her? Because she wasn't replying. And then it got oh. to the point where she did something so unprofessional. Mm, she professional. Sl- she slacked me her... Her goodbye. Her goodbye. Her ter- her termination notice thing. Yeah. Girl, I worked with you for like a year and a half. That's not. That's I felt so backstabbed. Yeah. Mm. You couldn't even show your face. You know who you are. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Yeah. No. I mean, I would love to personally ask the audience <laughs> if they've ever been in a situation where they had to go to work during, you know, shitty situations like that, like thunderstorms or whatever. And then in this case, uh, a lot of people in the comments were telling the creator to just basically send the video to the boss and be like, <laughs> I tried. That um, was really sad. That was so sad. There was another video of Bro, a guy. Bro, me with Dennis. I seen that video. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Tell me. <laughs> Con lo de la llanta. Oh, yeah. Wait, when was that? That was crazy. He sent me a video of his tire. It was just popped or whatever. <laughs> it, it was just bad. And it was during work? It was. Yeah. He had I, come I to come work. I'm coming. Yo tenía que ir al trabajo. <gasps> yeah, I Pero entonces usted se vino en bicicleta o como fue que... Yeah, he, yes, I, I, he pedaled. He came on a bike. David, you showed up. For like yeah. 45 That's minute up. pedal. That that's what's up. He didn't show up last week because he was in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> but that was crazy. I that was plan- kind of random. That yeah, is. no, that was crazy because I'm not planning to because I'm saying I'm not going anymore. Okay. So we're going to like my friend go to the airport and he say, "Oh, los pases están a 150." And he say, "Oh, I'm gonna buy it for you and just you get me 100." Because I say, oh, I don't have to go. Uh, you know, that is an interesting question. Like when opportunities like that arise. Yeah, wait, that's wait. The thing. No, that's not, <laughs> that's not the thing. I mean, that's, that's your perspective. Yeah, that's but true, I would like true. to ask everybody oh. when opportunities like that arrive, do you lie to your boss? Mm. Or do you like, do you lie and you take the trip and not take any pictures and post about it? <laughs> or do you just I, or do you tell them last minute? I, I prefer to be honest and telling like, oh, I'm going to this because in my school, when I say when I don't want to go, sometimes I say, oh, I'm feel sick. But, yeah. But this is job. You have to be honest with everything, you know, it's bad when yeah. I do. Yes. But I prefer be honest. They say, oh, no, I feel really sick. And don't, yeah, don't do. Well, do I will say as a boss. It's not great. No, it's not great. Yeah. And, and yeah, like, boss is shit sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> All no, the time. But, um, you know, those like question to the audience, I guess, like, would you take the opportunity? Would you go and just like peace out to whatever and kind of just take the hit? I mean, or yeah, would you, if you were lie? the boss in the office, would you call in your workers? That's another question. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I mean, you have a bunch of stuff that you have to get done and no one wants to show up. <laughs> what do you do? You're stuck in a Yeah. In a I pickle. will say when you're a small business, it's so much harder. Like every person yeah, counts. Yeah, that's true. You yes, know? That's and true. so I think so like, like you not showing up makes the team. Flounder. Yeah. Like it makes it a Florida lot harder. City. Yeah. And it makes it harder to rely on you as well, to be honest. So Things to think about. (laughs) 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 Dennis's fun facts of the week, guys. Uh Oh, we're already at that? That's crazy. No, I'm skipping around. Oh, all right. Things saucy. Anyways, did you know that 55% of young adult readers are actually adults? Wait, I don't get it. So there's a section at the library (laughs) that says young adults. Yeah. Okay. 55% of readers aren't actually young adults. Oh, aren't. They are adults oh what's a young adult i would say a young adult is someone 21 to 25 under 19 <laughs> 21 to 25 <laughs> no, 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 no i like that perspective because you're younger yeah that yeah, yeah. you're like 10 years younger so you're like that's what is the cutoff yeah. you know yeah. to, to me a young adult is up to 19 that's it. <laughs> okay you know it's just so funny because 
Tell me. We're getting older. Yeah. And it's just weird to now see. Oh, honey. Can I just be honest? <laughs> you can do that when you talk. Okay. But okay, when okay. I talk, it I can see the throws, anger in your eyes. It throws every time. me off. That is funny. It just like I don't remember where I'm talking. Okay. The point is, you get older and you start to realize that you're not as old. I, like for example, okay, my mom was telling me about me about my cousin who's now dating like a. <laughs> you're gonna think this is old though. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> she's dating a 42 year old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, I was like, yeah, she's like 31. No, that doesn't work. But it's not Damn. that different anymore. It is. It's not it that is. different. It is. It isn't. She was 11 when she wasn't born. But that's <laughs> different. That's different. So now we're talking like it's a 12 year gap, right? But you're at a different stage in life. Uh, maybe she's I, 34. I still, maybe. Okay. If she's 35, it's okay. You don't remember? Him? If she's 35, whoa, whoa, it's whoa. okay. No, I don't remember how, how old she is. I th- I just remember looking at it and I was like, it's really not that big of a difference. All right, let's get back to this fact, okay? No, but I'm curious what you guys think about that uh, as well. I think it's, it's, I look bad, but no, it's bad. It's normal. Like people can date with what we want. Age is just a number, you know? You feel me? If you want to date with someone that's, and you get in love with someone half sexy, vibes. you want to... Pedophilia. I get, I get what David is trying to say. Yeah, He's yeah, not, yeah. He doesn't mean it like that. All right, I so 55% of readers are not actually young adults. For the young adult genre, almost 100% of authors are not young adults. That so it's sense. adults writing for young adults. Yeah, uh, okay. that makes sense. Then, <laughs> the next fact... <laughs> Guess what? So there are a lot of countries actually that you can't wear camouflage. Colombia is one of those, right? So you can't Columbia? wear camouflage, and a lot of countries you can actually get in can trouble, you- and they won't let you in. Colombia is, in fact, one of them. Can yes. you confirm that? Do you know what is that? Can you put camouflage, camouflage in Colombia? Ropa. Uh, I I don't know. It's people. I use camouflage. You know, in Colombia. I thought you can. A mí me han dicho mucho que en Colombia no no se puede poner camouflaje. Oh, I never, I never heard that. Being oh, then maybe you. we're off. Well, maybe that's just what they tell okay. us yeah, yeah. because I, of the like guerrilla and stuff. I did some no. research. No, like if I put that, yo me pongo chaquetas de camuflaje. Ah, no, entonces. Yeah. I did some what research, and in Barbados <laughs> and Jamaica, you can't wear camouflage in either one. Okay. And there are many other countries that you can't, and they won't even let you in through customs at the location. Oh, wow. So you have to like you know toss it. You just can't wear camouflage. Interesting fact of the day. That's kind of yeah, that is really interesting. I don't know why that reminded me of this. My cousin went to Thailand, right? Yeah. And she went into like that crazy street. Red light district. It's like this district with a bunch of like weird people. Prostitutions yes. and stuff like that. Yeah. She said that just out of curiosity, she went with my other cousin just to like kind of laugh. But she's a very open minded person. Yeah. And she said that what they showed her in that book of things that they can do. Yeah. Was so crazy mm. like Damn, so imagine. crazy like Gabby, things you've never get your, pa- get your passport ready things you've I'm never imagined <laughs> no, no like things no, I like imagine. she was Nasty. disturbed she's not like that i thought that I, I she didn't even tell me what but i i can't even think about it because i'm so innocent but <laughs> I'm just anyways i'm Love super curious money. super curious about what you think about the current situation that i'm about to show that we can actually my show computer really quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the only TikTok I actually want to show. <laughs> so it's a middle school basketball game and the uh, person watching in the stand screams, you suck. He to, was red too. To somebody that was he shoot was red. Throw. Was it that guy or yeah. no? Yeah, it was the guy that was red. Anyways, he was mad just for a game. How would you feel if someone said you suck to your child and they're playing some I'm, sort of sport? I'm going crazy, being honest with you. <laughs> <It's going crazy. laughs> what would you do that? What would you do? No, I'm I'm start screaming at him. Why he have to do that to my child if he just trying to play? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm being mad. Ellie, what would you do? To be honest, I think. I would be overtaken by shock at first. Like I would be, I'd probably be like that lady, like who said that? (laughs) Like who the heck? Like that is kind of crazy. Isn't that kind of crazy that somebody would say that? Like how immature. 
<laughs> that's the first thing i think i'd go that route you can't control how people act but i'd freaking give him like look so, okay. <laughs> like the whole time this, this kind of leads into a deeper topic than i wanted to touch on yeah okay one of the worst jobs nowadays is being a referee being a referee is really bad because nah, nah, you nah, have nah, to nah. not only control people on the field you have to deal with parents and so in soccer Customer service. Bro, in Colombia is crazy. Okay, can what do you what do you <laughs> what? Customer service is I'm the saying worst. Ref, being a referee is a bad job. You said it's one of the worst. Yes, I think customer service is worse. Being a soccer referee and having to deal with parents, yeah, you know, yeah, okay, customer service is worse. And what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying to explain here. <laughs> okay, it's <That's> better. <laughs> I've heard that parents are very violent. Are very True. vicious, scream vulgarities at kids and oh, take what? it much more seriously than the kids playing the game. Yeah. And yeah. lots of times police have to be called because parents oh, can't no. keep their cool during soccer games. No, no, no. I've had situations where parents run on the field to fight players. What the hell? Who are, and the parent is so much older. They're like 40s, 50s fighting against teenagers. Wait, I'll be honest. I've never witnessed this. Okay, yes. Soccer... He's parents crazy. are really? awful. Yes. Are awful. The I, mom or the dads, which are worse? No, the fans. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I was on the field. I got screamed really nasty yeah. shit at. Yes, it's bad. By a father? By parents. Parents yeah, are assholes. Parents are crazy. What? Yes, and that, screaming to a referee. And referees yeah. sometimes in Colombia have to stop the game and call like call the técnico y decirle, oh, tiene tiene que decirle papá que pare o si no no puedo hacer. Yeah, it's juego. really bad. Referees have been assaulted. Okay, see, I wasn't aware. Murdered. Of this. Okay, what the One referee heck? in Argentina got much. his head chopped okay, off. no. It's no, like no, 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 bad. No, that's not. Okay. okay I, yeah, that's bad, honey. You win that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's really Get bad. Get your <laughs> um, Getting your head chopped off is the worst. <laughs> no one working at a JCPenney customer service is going to get their head chopped off. Ref, being referee is really bad. But anyways, being an athlete puts you in a position where you come into contact with people in the audience. Mm -hmm. And that just happens. You get screamed at. Oh my god! All sorts of stuff. It sucks that she's so young. Wait, I, so that was basketball, right? That was basketball. Oh, it was a girl. It's a girls' hey, it's middle okay. school basketball that game. Is terrible. <laughs> that, he, he, I you don't know. suck. <laughs> yeah, what an before animation. she shot. Wow, I can't believe it. That I really, so I really funny. am curious what people said <laughs> yeah. to him after. Um, Doesn't that there's like this like really racist story of what is it oh my i can't even remember it it's like they're in a pep rally and like the guy is being so racist and all the parents are like are you an idiot like do you know what time we're in like what's going on here like sometimes it's so bewildering like the things that they say i cannot yeah i mean i would wait, like to wait, know wait. if any of our viewers had a situation like this happen that's one but also a situation out of left field that somebody has done something like that. Any anybody like that for you guys? Anything? Any weird comment that someone like has the ever? People said? can't read the room and understand yes. what's going on. Yes. Uh, has anything like that ever happened to you? I mean, sometimes when it's a really serious situation and someone makes a joke, it's not you know. Okay, I had this one guy. I think I've talked about this before on the podcast. So excuse me, sir. The guy that used your head to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Mm, that guy <laughs> who does that he almost broke my neck let's for another time anyways no um this guy i hadn't seen him in a few years and so he's checking me out like checking out the stuff not oh, me okay like he's oh yeah i know whatever the service i'm gonna close my eyes for a little bit <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah anyways so the guy's telling me like wow you look a little different and so I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? You know, I'm like, oh, it's been a few years, you know? So he's like, and he keeps staring at me. And then he's like, you look paler. Oh, I haven't heard of this one. Yeah. It's a different story. He said, you look paler. Was oh, this at Target? Yeah. You have a lot happening at Target. The guy's always there. It's the same guy? It's the same dude. The one that didn't let you into the movie theater? Yeah, that's the same guy. <laughs> that guy is awful. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, point, point blank. It's like when somebody just throws... It's like a double-handed. Like, what? What? What do you want me to say? Like, okay, I look paler. What does paler mean? Paler is más blanca. Oh, como but, como pálida. But well, that's kind. Of, eso es un como se ve más pálida. Su tono, eso no. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. what am I supposed to say if somebody's like, "You look different. You got paler." Like, I don't receive the sun. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like some some statements are so out of left field that you're you don't really understand, right? 
Like it's uno que dice sobre eso, yeah. Yeah, like what do you do? I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. They, they, and I then and then we have Dennis's out of context video of the day. This is a new segment that I came up with. Hey, I want a out segment. Out of context. Oh, so come up with a segment. Maybe. I have one. I have one. I'm coming up okay. with it as we Let speak. Pull my computer, you please. Need a yeah, okay, let's get it ready. As we speak, I'm coming up. <laughs> I know, Abby. I need your reaction to this. Can you name me a country that starts with A but doesn't end with A? Natalie, have you ever been put on the spot and asked a question and you just kind of blank out? Oh my God, so many times. But one of the most embarrassing ones. Uh, remember we were in that Google meeting thing? God, I have I get secondhand oh, embarrassment thinking no, about this. No, no. Basically, we're up on stage. We're just up on stage, right? With a bunch of Google executives, yeah. by the way. That's like 200 people. It's embarrassing. Yeah. I was already very nervous for this. I was on stage with the freaking Rock's assistant. Yeah. The Rock's assistant. I was intimidated. Damn. I was intimidated. I, and I was the youngest one there. Everybody else was like a lot older, like maybe in their 40s, right? So the question and the way that the conversation was going, I was in my early 20s. It just it wasn't matching. The uh, energy was different. The point is, I'll I'll just kind of try to clear it up is that the conversation went very political. Mm -hmm. And you're not about politics and you don't keep yourself informed about politics at all and so <laughs> you you make me sound like i'm like a do to do you, you no know, i do know what's happening the, in the no, world but, no that's not what i'm saying i said politics specifically okay. okay yeah so if i'm not informed about something and someone asks me a question i'm gonna go just like that guy like i'm not gonna know what the hell's going on right well anyways my, <laughs> my anxiety got the best of me because one lady in the crowd specifically pointed to me and she asked me about something that honestly i should have known it was very simple it was just like how are you impacting the hispanic uh latin community it was something like that yeah girl i start <laughs> <laughs> taking right, shit so out of my ass i'm like you no. know you know yeah it, it was just going in circles and circles and i did not answer her question and then i was like i'm so sorry what did you ask me again it was bad as awful she asked me again and girl i did not understand i i started panicking so it was so embarrassing it was so embarrassing I, the, the you know the weird thing about that whole situation is you kind of brought panicked. it on yourself and, i did because i was scared from the get-go when we I was arrived, nervous. this was I had by, so th much anxiety. This was South by Southwest, all right. So this was in Austin, Texas. We went specifically to this because YouTube sent us there with Google. Oh, God. And it was out of your norm thing. It was just not your typical, oh, we do YouTube. This is how we go about it. It was just different. It was very different. It was very political. And we should have rethought about things. It was very scary. About whether you should have been there or not. Yeah, sometimes you're just not meant to be you in the room. Probably should not have been there. <laughs> Bobby, have you ever been asked something that you just kind of like? Mm, pass. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, wait, wait, wait. This is moment. Wait, this wait, is wait. the moment right here. Ooh, you should have. You should have done it. Mm, I was just thinking about how. How what? You nah. better start. Ooh. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I was thinking <laughs> about how. My sister, okay, she goes to meet her mother-in-law for the very first time. Mm -hmm. And what happened? No, I'm just checking time. Oh, and can you imagine you're meeting your mother, your your significant other? I don't agree with this. I don't know. But maybe. It, <laughs> but basically, she asked her, why do you want to marry my son? Mm -hmm. Girl, it's I'm, very direct. I'm just getting to know him. So she, but in, but my sister is very like all about like you date to whatever marry. to marry. That's a question for the audience. Actually, what are your thoughts on this? Because heartbreak is not an easy thing. I kind of wish I hadn't gone through it, but at the same time, dating other people helped me a lot in my own journey. And I also think it was fun. Like I think like why should you date to marry? Isn't that too much to expect from like a sixteen year old? I think it is too much to expect. At the like same you don't time, even know yourself. I mean, you kind of when you get into a relationship, you kind of set the intention of the relationship. Like, what is it for? Is it just like a I just want to kiss you, make out, and like I don't want to like lead into anything else, you know? Or are you actually both looking forward to getting married? I don't know. Yeah, I definitely think that not everybody thinks that way. 
And so I think that it's kind of a, a very scary. Some people just date. And that's what I'm saying. They, they never really ex- think about marriage. They just date. Yeah. Yeah. Don't expect anything just, you know. It's just yeah. vibes. <laughs> but that's kind <laughs> of bad vibe. though, because if you like keep dating mm-hmm. with someone and like, and yeah, broke up and dating again, you never learn how to be alone. And mm. and it's really bad because you have someone always to tiene que tener un novio siempre, ¿me entiendes? Mm-hmm. Entonces, sometimes girls like that are bad. Here's yeah. a question. How many times would you break up with someone before you go? Like, would you allow that in a relationship? Breaking up and then coming back or. I'm the worst person to ask about that because I never broke up with anyone. What about you? Mm. Let me think. How many times would you allow for breaking up? Actually, I never experienced that, but I feel like I would have gone back with a specific person if they had, and it probably would have been toxic for me. Do you think it's better? I, I, I'm just throwing out situations because change. I haven't been through this, but like, no. let's say you have a guy, right? And you break up, you go with another person, mm-hmm. they break up. Are you more than, is it possible to go back with the other guy, the, the original? Yes, bro. Especially if you love Girls them. are crazy. Girls are crazy. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> speak to us speak to us no like just i think they they don't care and if mm. they like him they're just gonna date him you know mm. all right if, if, it depends if, on the girl yeah it depends on the girl yeah. of course yeah can you, imagine, the same. can you imagine being that guy that you just know that she went back to her ex that sucks sad I don't know. <laughs> like in high school, you'd always hear the stories of like, oh my God, did you know that he was gay? Like, is it worse to have had a gay ex boyfriend? Like, he never really liked you like that, or Damn. or he Damn. cheated on you with a girl? No, I think he's gay because you're going to make a. <laughs> but maybe you turned him gay. <laughs> or you made him lesbian from how bad the relationship was. <laughs> That's another one. That's another one I actually have heard a lot. Like, a lot of girls that became lesbian in my at least in my high school they were so heartbroken by the guys that they're like fuck this i'm gonna try the other the other group <laughs> <laughs> that's intense it's got to be really it's bad gotta be really it's got to be really bad in it's order to go to. and like switch unless you just always you unless know? you're bisexual like the whole yeah. time yeah i think it must be hard to have a bisexual partner <laughs> no way i never gonna have a bisexual partner <laughs> isn't it a little because too much? you have to worry for men and for girls no way oh my god hell no honestly yeah it's a little weird because <laughs> yeah. like let's say that your girlfriend starts hanging out with a girl a lot all of a sudden they're like but then how do you differentiate she's like working out with her she's going to you know oh my it's god, a hard no you have to ask do you have feelings for the person so you, have to, you have to ask wow. it's all about conversation he's, you know? he's with his legs crossed he's like communicate i mean yeah you have to ask but also like you know actually, but i don't think they're gonna say yeah exactly they I, she don't know what she feel she gonna tell you she wanna yeah. no, broke up with everybody you. knows what she feels oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have to cough I kind of want to backtrack to that uh, video so okay. he, he was actually asked you know of a country that begins in A and doesn't end in A <laughs> I want to give you guys the answer what but before it? that be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button uh, <laughs> it's uh, Afghanistan and Azerbaijan they're the only What's, two countries where's that? Afghanistan. No, Afghanistan or what's that? Azerbaijan. Yeah, where's that? Uh, Middle East. I had no idea. Yeah, those are the only two countries in the world that don't end in A, that begin with A. Okay, you know the TikToks that I love? Tell me. The one where the guy's like, um, how many countries are, or name three countries. And <laughs> those the, are great. And then the people <laughs> don't it. know and they're like, um, Georgia, uh, <laughs> uh, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, yes. They name <laughs> cities and states. Um, name how many, uh, what, what, what country, or blah, blah, what help me <laughs> how many planets are in the solar system uh 100 Ooh, that's right those are great i love those. what's the planet that's how you to know the sun? that's right that's right and the person's like <laughs> and like of course i know i knew this and the, like they obviously didn't know anything that way what's your favorite tiktok right now something that just like stuck in your head my bro they wish when i make i make one like your fa- your own TikTok <laughs> is your favorite. No, no, no. I saw that video first and I say, bro, I have to make what this. What is it? What is it? It's like, oh, they don't call me Pulga for playing with Messi. I, they call me Pulga because I'm... <laughs> Boy de perra and perra. 
Ew, I what? know. And you remember that? Bro, I, I love him hard. I don't know why. That was so funny because he's like sending the floor so sad. That's giving, that's giving David from El Pueblito. Bro. Es hermundista. No, but it's Damn. fun. That's what TikTok's all about. That's, it's to have... That's David the man whore. <laughs> it's to have a good... You know... I think that's kind of interesting when you are young online and you start <laughs> making think. No, really. Like we yes. did we go through that? Like we kind of had a Facebook time where like, for example, I did that stupid thing where you'd put your mustache here and then you'd take a picture. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and like, I thought it was so cool. It was my profile <laughs> picture. Tough times. <laughs> tough, tough, d dark times. <laughs> what did you do? Did you ever do anything Bro. like that? I created an um, emoji in Xbox, like a big emoji you can create like yourself, bro. And I take a I take a picture and put it post it in my profile picture. <laughs> no, no, how old were you, bro? I don't know, like last pain. year. Just <laughs> kidding. Yes, sir. I'm trying to think about what my most like recent favorite TikTok was, but there's just been like so many good ones. I do feel like TikToks kind of don't go downhill. I don't know. I Why? feel it. You feel it? I, but you're so many, on it all the time. So many, you know, eligible for commissions. So oh, many ads. That is annoying. Ugh. That I'm, is really annoying. I find myself going to Instagram more now. Ooh, Facebook. It might Facebook. just be you're getting Ugh, older. Facebook is gross. What if it's just you're getting older? <laughs> no. That means you go on TikTok eligible more? for commissions are pulling me away. I just, I don't know. I just use what I have in my phone. <laughs> I, I just... If I get bored of TikTok, I just change to Facebook and that's all. I go Facebook. Facebook is Facebook. so funny. It's like more than TikTok. It's because he's from El Pueblo. <laughs> <laughs> El Pueblito. Maybe we have to try it. That's kind of Yeah, I know. Facebook is so funny. I know. Facebook is scary sometimes here. <laughs> well, anyways. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of the Natalie and Dennis show. Uh, we come out every Saturday. Wait. Saturday. Damn, did I really mess up this? What is that? We have an screen? ad in the back of the screen. <laughs> hey, so uh, every Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe. Comment below your uh, whatever you want to comment. Follow yeah. us on Instagram. That's where we're doing a lot of little updates throughout the week. So we'd love checking you out and just knowing what you want to hear next. That's always great. I look forward to walking by the bathroom later. Just, <laughs> and just hearing it. <laughs> Natalie on her phone. <laughs> Okay, this is not it. Bye. <laughs> this is why we need something here. Too much, too much guy energy. <laughs>